गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल एंड दिस इज अ वीडियो इन इंग्लिश देर वॉज अ वीडियो ऑफ द सेम टॉपिक ऑन हिंदी एंड यू कैन लुक इन टू द कार्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट कि अगर आप चाहते हैं कि हिंदी में इसको कंटिन्यू करना तो आप उस इस हिंदी के वीडियो के लिंक में जाके उसको देख सकते हैं और ऑन प्रॉपर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंक्रीज फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ यूरिनेशन यूरिनरी इनकॉन्टिनेंस दैट इज द लीकेज ऑफ यूरिन एंड वॉट आर द रेमिडीज बाई विच वी कैन डिक्रीज दैट बिकॉज नाउ डेज द विंटर इज ऑन द पीक and in india we are uh, facing an entire freeze in the northern part as well as uh, the the areas where people are not that much prone and they are not much accustomed to uh, cold weather they are also facing a problem of increased urination and there are certain uh, physical factors which are associated with it and there are also some problem which you may be facing so first of all why we have increase frequency of uh, urination the increase frequency is first of all uh, diagnose that if you are going for more than 8 times if you are going for more than 8 times in the past 24 hours then that is known as increase frequency of urination if you are getting a more than twice in the night to pass urine then that is known as nocturia and that also is uh, something which needs to be seen and looked into so what are uh, why it is there an increased frequency in the winters that is because of the insensible loss which is there from your body through evaporation through sweating that decreases and the vessels they actually constrict so therefore there is a preservation of uh, energy and that leads to an increase of frequency of urination the other thing is that because in winters there is an increased consumption of coffee and tea to keep oneself warm and uh, people also take a lot of hard drinks in the winters to keep themselves warm and that also lead to an increase in frequency of the urination uh what are the other factors so the increase in frequency first we'll be talking about what can happen in females and then we'll be talking about what can happen in males in females the problem can be because of an overactive bladder an overactive bladder is something where there is an urgency an urgency is a it is a strong urge to pass urine which is difficult to defer and therefore uh, it is found that the overactive bladder is much more common in females as you age uh, compared from uh, men and uh, the main symptoms are frequency urgency and nocturia we have already discussed about nocturia the same problem can occur if you have an increase in the prostate in men and because of an enlargement of the prostate a patient can have increased frequency of urination there are certain other problems which can occur with increasing age like parkinsonism like cognitive decline of your body function alzheimers uh atrophy of the brain that can also lead to a decrease in the concentration ability of the brain to uh, concentrate the urine and therefore there is an increase in frequency apart from that if you have an increase of urinary infection if you have incidence of uti a urinary tract infection can also lead to an increase in frequency urgency as well as getting up in the night to pass urine if it is associated with fever then that is something which needs to be seen by the urologist whom you are seeing or you if you want you can uh, connect us through online channel and you can also connect us through the uh, youtube link or through our website and uh, we can have an online consultation as well as a physical consultation uh, regarding that so what are the uh, ways of controlling it so first of all we'll talk about we have to decrease the water intake the water intake has to be to the tunes of around 8 glasses and if uh, your uh, if you have a problem in uh, your hypertensive medicines if you are taking lot of anti hypertensives also you need to further decrease it to around 1.5 liters if you have a chronic kidney disease also you have to further decrease it to around 1.5 liters 
The second would be that do not take water in one go. We have seen that patients that try to take around a one liter of water in one go. That is also not uh, good for the kidneys as well as your entire body. There may be a sudden rise in the pressure of the body in form of ocular hypertension. Your eye pressure can go up, even your blood pressure can go up. So basically the water intake should be judicious and it should not be erratic. You have to be hydrated throughout the day. Second is you need to decrease the amount of tea and coffee. And usually uh, fluids should be avoided after 6 p.m. Because the, uh, the problem is that when you are actually lying flat, uh, the blood from your legs is pulled back into the heart. It is pulled back at a very good pace. Therefore, your kidneys are filtering at a much better rate and therefore the urine output is much more in patients uh, as the day passes. So in the fag end of the day, in the evening time, the urine pressure is more. So that is very, very important that you decrease your fluid intake uh, by two thirds of what you are taking at this point of time and also decrease the water and the fluid intake after 6 p.m. If you have antihypertensive medicines you are taking in the evening, you talk to your cardiologist or to your physician and you can switch them in the morning time. So that will decrease the nighttime uh, frequent visit to the toilet and that is something which is going to increase the quality of life. The other thing is for women, those who are having a problem of leakage of urine, when they laugh, they sneeze and when they cough, they can do Kegel exercise. The Kegel exercise can also be done by men. The simple way of doing that Kegel exercise is that you have to hold your urination when you are passing urine, you hold your urine. At that point of time, there is a muscle which is uh, the pelvic floor muscle which get tightened in your body. So most important is to identify that muscle. How will you identify? Simple method is that when you are passing urine, you try to stop the urine stream in between. The muscle which is contracting is the muscle which needs to be uh, exercised. Once you get, get the hang of that muscle, now you start doing the exercise where you squeeze your muscle again as if you are stopping the urine. You squeeze it to the count of 10 and then you relax it to the count of 20. You do it at least 10 to 20 times morning, afternoon and in the night sleeping uh, at the time when you are lying uh, down or you are sitting, you can do it. And usually people, they squeeze their buttocks and all that is not going to help you. you. If you squeeze your tummy, it is not going to help you. You have to specifically target that muscle. And most importantly, and simple way is that you just decrease. When you are passing urine, you just stop the urine in between. And by that way also, you can control your frequency and urgency and the urge to void. For those patients who are having a UTI, you need to get a urine culture and see a urologist. For patients who have a prostate problem, usually uh, after the age of 50, you will require to visit a urologist to see a urologist nearby who is good. If you want to connect with me, you can connect at the links given be below. And we usually give alpha blockers in form of tamsulosin, alpha josin and sildosin depending upon what type of patient we are looking. If it's a young patient, a sexually active patient or a a sexually non-active patient so that the medications may differ. We also add on a anticholinergic in form of solifenacin or darifenacin for controlling the urgency part. And for patients who have Alzheimer's or cognitive decline, they, they need to also see that they decrease the amount of water intake. And the most important thing is that wear warm clothes. If you are wearing warm clothes, warm socks, Covering up, then also your uh, the urine production will decrease, and that also will help in conserving the your energy as well as it will decrease the frequent visit to your toilet. I think whatever we have discussed today, it should be helpful for you to tide over this month, and I, I hope that uh, you have a healthy and a safe new year. Thank you. And if you like this video, please do share with people and do subscribe to our channel. Namaskar. Thanks for 